All right, we're gonna take a tour on how to get to our classroom. So this is the office. It's to the right as soon as you walk in. And then we're walking all the way to our classroom. We're gonna follow these arrows. Our classroom is towards the back of the school. This part of the school is called the town square. Usually we can do dances in here and sometimes we'll have school events. So this is our classroom. This is the outside. We'll have some student artwork and this is our door to get inside. The first thing inside of our classroom is the cubby area. This is where students will put their things away. Everyone has their own cubby with their name on it where they can put all of their belongings. We'll walk through the archway. The first thing we'll do is to go wash our hands at the sink. Our classroom has two sinks. We have two child size sinks, and then we have an adult sink. So we'll get in line to wash our hands first before we do anything else in the classroom. Every time we leave the classroom, we wash our hands. Um, anytime we come out of the bathroom, we wash our hands again. And we only use this sink for after the bathroom. So there's our bathroom door. There's just a toilet in there where the kids will go use the restroom. This area right here will be our cozy area. So if a student needs time by themselves, if they just wanna be alone for a few minutes, they can go in here and play with some toys, read a book, and just calm down maybe if they're upset. We'll also have a family tree where you can bring in, send me a photo and we'll put a photo of the family up so they can always see their family, maybe if they're missing their mom or their dad. So our room is set up into four zones. So we're gonna go ahead and go through all the zones. The first thing we have is our cots here. They will have sheets on them. We'll wash them every week and we'll put those out for rest time. This is our line that we will use to line up to go outside of the room if we go to the playground or the garden or anywhere else we need to go. All right, so our first zone, this is the purple zone. It is zone one and this is library and art and writing. So in this area, the kids will be able to paint, read books, play with toys. We have Play-Doh, a lot of art materials. That's our first zone. The second zone is our green zone. This is zone two. This is technology and toys and games. So we'll have iPads. That is our hatch table where the kids stand and they can touch it and play. This is a table they'll sit at with toys and games and puzzles. That's zone two. The next zone is our yellow zone, zone three. So this zone is dramatic play, music and movement, and we'll also have toys in here too. We have the floor marked with tape just to give another visual of where the zones are. Our last zone is zone four. It's a blue zone. This zone is where we have blocks, and we also have discovery toys. So they'll get to play with blocks, all different kinds of toys. And we have discovery. We also have our sensory table, which we're gonna do some individual sensory bins for the kids to play with different sensory items. And that's our classroom. And soon all these walls will be filled with student artwork and things that we're learning.